Hello everyone and welcome to our weather update on the 3rd of June 2024 and also happy Bank Holiday Monday. Now today we're seeing quite a cloudy day um, with um, some patchy drizzle especially on western and northern coasts but otherwise it should be mostly dry and there could be a few bright spells especially in the south this afternoon but generally it's quite a cloudy gloomy day. Now into tonight we see some patchy rain pushing in from the Atlantic into Ulster and Connex early on before pushing to all areas by morning. Now this is pushing in with a cold front um, through tomorrow. So again tomorrow morning into the afternoon patchy rain pushing from west to east. Um, possibly a few heavier showers there on the back edge of the system. And um, after, after that cold front goes through, we'll see some fresher air push, pushing in from the northwest. So we see um, sunshine and showers into Tuesday evening, or showers mainly in the north, and also sunshine. Uh, su sunshine everywhere, but, but, sun but sunshine everywhere, but showers only in the north, should I say. There we go, going out at the end. So into uh, Wednesday, um, again, it's day of sunshine and showers, showers heaviest and most frequent in Ulster and Connacht, lighter and more um, isolated further south and east. And also again, where showers don't hit, there should be some decent sunshine. To Thursday, again, most showery in the north and driest in the south, and some fair weather everywhere. And through into Friday, some patchy rain overnight Thursday, Thursday towards Friday, before on Friday itself, we see um, sunshine and uh, patchy clouds in most areas, apart from Ulster, where again, a few showers will push in. So basically, this week is most showery in Ulster, and I think driest and most sunny in Munster and South Leinster. But anywhere that isn't like Ulster and North Connacht should see some, some um, decent dry spells this week with some sunshine and some clouds. But also, it'll be cooler compared to um, the few days just gone by with a northerly to westerly airflow coming in. And by Saturday morning, it's cleared early on, but probably a few showers again through Ulster as usual. Um, here is our temperature forecasts for for the week. Um, here is today's forecast. So again, high high state of around thirteen to set to um. 17 Celsius, cooler because of the clouds coming in. Now into uh, Tuesday morning, Tuesday starts off miles due to the cloud and rain, but into the afternoon, temperatures don't rise that much at all, especially in the north. Highs there of 11 degrees only, but up to 16 or 17 again in the south. Um, that is just as that mild air mass does cling on by its fingertips there. And into Wednesday morning, it starts off very chilly and there can well be a um, frost in parts of the east like a grass frost so wednesday starts off uh, chilly with high with lows of three or four in the east up to like seven or eight in the west and temperatures don't rise that much into the afternoon highs of only uh, nine in the north up to 15 in the south that's like the far south and into Thursday morning, it starts off quite chilly again, lows of around um, 5 to 8 degrees. Before highs on Thursday, again, only about 12 to 15 Celsius, warmest there in the far southeast. Into Friday morning, again, it starts off quite chilly. Before highs in the afternoon, a bit, you know, they do just sort of nut up a bit there. Highs of around 11 to 17 Celsius, um, and usual usual um, warm spot there and into Saturday morning is chilly again so basically next week after Tuesday lows of around like uh, the mid single figures and then also highs of around like the low to mid teens so quite chilly but bright really is the rule for next week after Tuesday's cold front goes through. Now here is the NAO index observed and forecasted so currently um, weekly positive with the index but that is just uh, again hanging on by its by its um, fingertips there and will collapse into a strongly negative territory by about by about like 
let's say today, tomorrow really, and um, that will stay very negative even beyond mid-June here. So looking like quite a chilly first half of June at least here. So here is the GFS midnight run. So GFS um, again has this cold front today and uh, tomorrow bringing some patchy rain with it before into Wednesday, Thursday with showery, most of them in the north and dry in the south and everywhere should see some decent um, sunshine too but temperatures will, but as I said temperatures will be pegged picked back thanks to that northwesterly winds. Now into the weekend, the Azores High just try and push back in. Initially that, that is quite cool and dry, um, with nights definitely being chilly, especially if skies are clear. But as we push into the following week, the Azores High kind of builds over us and um, we sort of settle it over us and that brings um, a warm and dry spell in the ends by mid-June. So that's pretty warm and dry through the following week there before we go into mid-June and beyond that and it stays dry, well quite dry and definitely quite warm too. Um, and by the 19th of June it's still warm and dry so, so, so it seems from this um, GFS midnight run that from that beyond about like uh, I'd say about the 12th of June here up towards, the, up towards at least June 19th we get a window of dry and warm weather building in. So let's refresh that. Here is the GFS 6 head run. So here we go. GFS 6 is like this. We build in this cold front through Tuesday and behind that again a showery, especially in Ulster, drier elsewhere with some sunshine and also chilly nights and cool days. Uh, also as I said, there is a risk of grass frost in parts of the east on Wednesday morning. Now into the weekend, as always, like tries to come in again. Now, um, again, this starts off chilly with a high pressure, cool days and uh, quite cold nights. But from about the um, well, will it build eastwards? Will it? Uh, no, it doesn't. It just ends up going back down towards the Azores, and um, we just build the west this back in so quite autumnal even by the 14th of June with that deep low and, the, and then it's also cooler beyond that so yeah and then into the um, and just up to the end of the run is still quite cool and quite mixed so I think recently where we've been doing these um, comparisons between the midnight and six head run we've been seeing that the midnight run likes to go for the dry and warmer while the 6Z likes to keep it cool and wet. Yeah, I think that's a trend we're seeing here. So here's the ECM run. The ECM again has this cold front through Tuesday and behind that through, through Wednesday, Thursday, Friday it's showery, it's quite cool as well, but most showers in Ulster. Um, but they might push down into um, other parts of times and into the weekends. In fact, we see even cooler winds coming in, c coming in there from the north, and and the um, low pressure becomes even more in charge. F f well, that is at least for a time before we go into a westerly phase through mid June. Here is the GEM runs. So the GEM again has this um, cloudy day today with the high pressure just starting to to um push out to our west but by tomorrow Tuesday down comes the cold front courtesy of that deep low towards the east of Iceland and into the rest of the week it's just cooling quite showery uh, but again some decent breath spells as well uh, cool nights before we're into the weekend as always like tries to build in initially again that's quite chilly and a bit cloudy as well before into the following week it builds more properly over us to bring a warmer spell. So the GEM and GFS midnight run are in line with are in line with each other. So here is the here is the UK Met run. I must say, every day we do these updates, the, these charts are always changing. <laughs> They're always changing. Uh, it's hard sometimes to um, decipher them and just try and pick a trend out because so far we have the midnight run and the uh, GEM going for like what 
a woman drive mid June, and 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 we have the six Z and the ECM just keeping it quite cool and wet. Uh, here is the uh, UK Met run. So UK Met again through Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Low to the north, deep low there. Today is just um, cloudy. Before tomorrow is uh, a bit wet. But Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, a cool, bright, but but bushy, especially in Ulster. And through the weekend, it just stays chilly. But I think it also it does dry out a bit as well because of that ridge. Uh, here is the icon. So the icon is next. Uh, again, tomorrow cold front comes through. Behind that, indig those northwesterly winds and showers to the north, the driest in the south. Um, but I think that by Thursday, Friday, actually, the low is diving in uh, quite far south there. So all areas are very showery by Friday. And by the weekend, we're just very chilly, northwesterly winds, northerly winds, and plenty of showers around. And by Monday, June 10th, we have this high pressure down there, but it's going through Iceland towards Svalbard and Dalcom, there was normally winds, so Icon is I think the worst model we've seen so far. If you want some um, bright weather and warm weather, well they're all not great, but um, I think really this week, well, it will be quite a bright week after tomorrow's rain goes through, but just temperatures will be very much suppressed, and where we go beyond like June 10th is open to doubt. We have two models going for a warm and dry spell, but the others are keeping it chilly, but some but some go dry and some go um, showery. And here is the Arpege. Arpege again. Today is uh, cool, cooler but dry still. Tomorrow has that cough coming through um, on the freshening breeze from the northwest. And then beyond that, it's just showery through Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. But again, as we as we know, this sort of ridge, that high, will send a ridge into Biscay, keeping the south drier. And by Friday, uh, again, same pattern. Everyone, thanks for watching. Is an echo as ever. The weather is constantly evolving, uh, so a new mystery is coming through. Um, will we get a warm mid June? Next question. <laughs> thanks for watching. They're so contrasting, so, so contrasting. Everyone, okay, thanks for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.